hey how's it going everybody welcome back to the channel so guess what i actually did in fact deposit three thousand dollars right there you started a deposit for three thousand dollars blah 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 so monday tomorrow most likely if i see course here anywhere around 25 24 dollars i'm gonna buy 100 shares i'm going to buy 100 shares maybe 106 shares just to get this to 200 shares exactly and then my next move, probably, oh, it's like, I mean, see, see, total, total, no, 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 total percent has changed, yeah. Most likely, um, other position that I'm done quite a bit on is Neo, but I kind of already established my full position on it. I want to get more money into Tattooed Chef. So probably my next big move, if Tattooed Chef stays around under 20 bucks, I think is a good play. Under 20 bucks is long term is a good one for tattoo chef i'll probably want to get uh, tattoo chef up to 200 shares maybe 300 shares is pretty cheap and yeah i'll get both of these guys up maybe to 250 300 shares and then i'll see later on if i can find a good discount on any of these babies over here on my watch list i see facebook has actually done quite a bit also from its all-time highs look at this it was 382 it's down about 15 percent 15 percent wow but i think facebook is also a pretty good buy right now ipr i ipr has been killing it every single time i've seen it jumia no nah. jumia come on man i think we have to wait a little bit before what about lucid let's see how lucid is doing hmm hmm what else what else what else Mm, Roku, I think Roku's down quite a bit too, yeah. Oh, yeah, quite a bit. 30. I'm gonna have to see what's up with this one. 38%. It might bounce all the way back up. Maybe it might be a good swing. We're gonna have to see. We are gonna have to see. But yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow. Buy Corsair at about 25 bucks or less, hopefully. And. Yeah, the only reason I'm doing it is because I have money in my account, my bank account right now. And the thing that I've noticed is once I have money, I feel comfortable and I start going out to eat more. I usually go out to eat more fast food. I go buy stupid things. So, But then when I have no money in my account, I'm more conservative. I'm like, oh, I'm broke right now. So that's why I'm going to keep the mentality. I'm going to try to keep my uh, my account like under $2,000. So I can feel broke. I only have enough money to pay my rent. And I'm going to have to stay hungry. But when I have more than like $5,000, $6,000, $7,000, $8,000 in my, in my checkings, I'm like, ah, I can go to Jack in the Box. Or I can go to McDonald's to go get food. And that's how I waste, yes, how I waste more money. But then when you have less money, you start acting more frugal. And I think that's the best way to do it. At least for me right now. Because I need to take this more seriously. Sometimes I, I'd be taking this super serious where i'm not having no freedom at all outside of investing and sometimes i'm too casual where i'm like oh i get to eat i get to go out to eat every single day i think the past four nights i went out to denny's at four in the morning after work four in the freaking morning i'm spending 40 bucks 50 bucks i take my two co-workers well three co-workers sometimes or another co-worker and i'm paying for their freaking meals man uh yeah yeah, and I mean, by myself, it's whatever, but when I'm paying for other people, it's expensive, man, it's expensive. But yeah, that's the move. Uh, hopefully, you guys are doing good. Uh, hopefully, you guys are enjoying your weekend. Um, I'm literally about to go into work in like an hour. I want to freaking relax like a couple minutes, take a shower, and then I'm going to have to go to work. And then, boom, I'm off tomorrow, so I get to relax. And Yeah, uh, I'll probably catch you guys in uh, a few days, maybe. Maybe tomorrow if I'm feeling it up to it i'll show you guys my trade or my me buying corsair but yeah let's see if we can make it to 50k by the end of the year it's already mid-october i have two more weeks of october a month two and a half months left to get ten thousand dollars into my robin hood to get to that fifty thousand dollar mark if we can get to that fifty thousand that was the goal from the beginning of the year to get to 50k we better make it man i hopefully we do really need neo to run up and ethereum has been doing its thing man ethereum has been doing its thing 
We just need Neo. Literally, we just need Neo to move up. If Neo can move up 10 bucks, 15 bucks, if we can get to $50, $60, if we can get to $60, it's on for sure. We're going to for surely, for surely get to 50k. But that's the move, yeah. And then if Neo does move up, then my, of course my option play is going to move up exponentially. But yeah, that's it, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one.